the home of Sister Charlotte and Brother Pete, the O'Neills. And I'd just like to ask a few questions while we're here. We have their lovely family with us. And uh, we're very interested in how uh, the organization UAACC has changed and grown since the filming of the incredible movie, A Panther in Africa. I'd like perhaps to initially respond to that. Uh, Our programs were growing and strengthening from their inception. But since the filming of Africa and since the fact that it has been shown in several festivals around America and in Zanzibar as well, we have received such a positive response that it has inspired us to redouble our efforts. And that redoubling has resulted in our student number increasing from perhaps 100, 150 at the time the filming started to well over 400 students. Now, when I say 400, I don't mean 400 students gathered here at one time, but during the course of a week, we have a total of 400 and more different students who are taking advantage of our programs. And our programs, now that I mentioned that, have increased several fold. We have implemented new programs. Uh, We have uh, now an electronics teaching program. We have an architecture and construction program. We have French classes. And the thing that we're so very proud of is our new community free transport service. We have a vehicle that's capable of carrying 30 passengers that we bought, renovated, and converted into a passenger vehicle that takes people from the village from our center to the main road, which is a distance of four miles, walking that with uh, baggage and luggage that village members normally do takes an hour. Coming back takes an hour. Our bus, our transport vehicle, makes four trips a day. It takes people down, saving them an hour and brings them back and, and, and saves them another hour. It also operates as an emergency ambulance service. So we're very, very proud. And while we can't credit this entirely to the film, it certainly has been a catalyst and has served us well, I think. That's right. And uh, I think because of the film and so many people looking and appreciating the film, we've had more people wanting to come and volunteer. So I think that's wonderful. And also the fact that we have students now who are and teachers who are interested in filmmaking very good you know so very, very a panther good. in africa is 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 definitely a good thing for uacc it has served a good purpose yes. well, that's good and personally how do you feel it has affected your lives i know that 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 it has affected your lives as far as the community center goes but on a personal level mm-hmm. Well, I think because I've kind of reiterated what uh, MJ was saying, because so many people are are now wanting to to know what is UACC all about, it really keeps us on our toes. We were on our toes anyway, (laughs) but this uh, doubles our efforts to really make sure that we're setting as good an example as possible. So if anything, it has made us more busy. Mm, that's wonderful. Yes. Brother Pete, have you had any more visits from relatives? And, and if you have, what that what has that been like? My goodness, have I. You will recall in the film I spoke about the possibility of that visit of my mother being the last one. And I thought, I said, well, I won't have an opportunity to be with the woman who gave birth to me again. I am so pleased to report that she is in fine health and vigor, that she returned here last December with my sister that I had not seen in 34 years. Mm. We had a wonderful time. And my mother, surprisingly, perhaps a panther in Africa invigorated her, she was in such high spirits and we had such a wonderful time. So uh, she did that. It was wonderful. I might add that my sister and her family and another sister that I hadn't seen in 34 years came back two months ago. 
and accompanied us to Zanzibar to watch the viewing of a panther in Africa there. So relatives are coming in bunches now, and they're planning to come again in probably the next. I've got a son and his girlfriend mm -hmm. coming out That's in uh, December. So I think this has been an inspiration That's for lovely. people, family members, to come out and to visit.